Well, hello gang friends. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff for nail stuff. And the stuff she does for nail stuff. Weird nail stuff and stuff for nails. Oh. <laughs> we have a quick, oh, lockjaw. Oh, can you hear that? Ow. We have a quick video today because what we're doing is really easy. So I'm going to show you these new Madame Glam pudding gels, like nudie collection. This colour here, caramel beige. Oh my god, it's so nice. It make I want to eat it. Do you ever look at something that's not food and think, how bad would it be if I just had a little taste? That's how I feel about that colour. But don't eat the nail products. So these are all a new new releases of Pudding Gel from Madame Glam and you can get a whopping 30% off your Madame Glam orders with the code MissJo30 and the link in the description to all my videos. Again, I'm not going to try and explain what colours look like because I'm just rubbish at it. <gasps> oh, did anybody buy anything in the 50% Black Friday sale with the code I gave you I've got oh look at these swatched they're lovely really they'd be really nice if I wasn't afraid of drawing faces because there's all nice different tones the one on the far right that's probably what color my skin is going to be given another couple of weeks and I'm going to be as pasty as anything um yeah I bought 17 um <laughs> 17 gel polishes in the sale I'm really excited about getting them and I'll show you them all because I think all bar two are some kind of sparkle shimmer magnetic cat eye kind of deal so i'll show you those when i get them but let me know what you bought in the comments so i'm starting with the caramel i'm going to do two coats of that and then on two others we're going to do two coats of antique rose we're only doing three nails because this is just to sort of a, a how to do this apparent trend thank you for one of you who trend alerted me this in the comments um of tweed nails i'm taking their pink gel paint i know pink but i something was just telling me yes pink i wanted it to be a kind of warm but pinky but it doesn't end up looking that pink but i just thought it might look i just was feeling pink on the brow so we're going to do lots of little dashes. Yes, apparently tweed nails are a trend. I'm hoping it's just a, a quick passing trend because tweed nails? What? Um, I don't, it doesn't appeal to me. Um, but we're going to do lots of little dashes and then, no, they're not dashes, they're straight lines, little eyes, and then dashes. Dashes are sideways. And then, but I'm not going in a particular pattern, just anywhere, anywhere and everywhere. I'm not worrying about the dashes going, like crossing through all the vertical lines, just get some dashes on. That's it. I wanted to do this as quick and easy as possible. I'm sure there's more intricate ways you can go about this to, I don't know, to get the same look, but because it's a kind of messy pattern, Quick and easy is best. Let's not spend a lot of time on something that's not uniform. You know, let's just make it quick and easy. So on these two um, antique rose ones, I'm going to do a kind of swoopy, just a swoop. I'm using the flat played brush from Madame Clam. Or is it the petal? No, it's the flat played. I love this brush. And then, so I'm sort of doing a, a side French, I guess. And then curing that and then I will do a second coat I think the pudding gels are are they because I know that their gel polish is a 30 second cure are the pudding gels one minute I think they might be but but I think it says on each pot so just check on the pot because I think it might be a minute compared to their usual 30 seconds and then on this other one we're going to do an upside down side French just to make it a little bit different sorry about my nasaliness still I still feel like I'm underwater my ears are still need popping but if I pop them by holding my nose and breathing out 
then I everything goes black and I go dizzy and feel like I'm gonna throw up. So yeah, I still feel a bit crap to be honest. Throw in a panic attack and just a general buzz of anxiety for the last <laughs> for the last few days. That's me, that's where I am. So once I've done this swoopy you could use a, a long liner brush to get that shape if you wanted and then fill in but the brush is um it gives you a crisp line so we're just using that so I'm going to do two coats of that and now back to this one we're going to take the white gel paint and do the same again so I think the pink I did the most lines and dashes and then the white I'll do maybe not as many as the pink and I'm trying to maybe go in the gaps but also not worrying about going over some of the pink bits because that would just take take too much uh, effort <laughs> just slap them on there and then we will do sideways ones as well well did I start talking about something and then change the subject maybe can't remember um the videos at the moment will be sort of as and when I know usually it's a Sunday that I upload and then sometimes a Wednesday or the other day I think there was a Thursday video the other week so turn your notifications on or just come back and check because I think notifications don't always work apparently um, but I think I'm just going to kind of do as many as I can and get them out as soon as I can so there's no particular schedule right now so I've cured the white lines and dashes and now I'm taking the brown gel paint oh have you noticed probably <laughs> this whole video I'm kind of out of shot because I thought I'd zoom in instead of filming from further away which I normally do I zoom in and then it might be clearer because I wasn't sure if the quality was very clear whereas because normally I have it zoomed out and because I move around so much Zooming out means I'll always be in shot and I can just crop it to that area. But I thought I'd try and stay zoomed in. But I just kind of, I'm just sort of out of shot. I didn't stay in shot enough. Just moving around too much. So we'll get some of the brown lines and dashes on. A few less than the white, which were a few less than the pink. Which is I don't think is something that is, you know, a way to do this, this design, the tweed but I just didn't want it to get too dashy and liney. But you can do more if you want it more and less if you want it less. So before I top, I'm going to take some of the McCart Rhinestone Gem Gel Glue and pop some up here. And then I found, because tweed makes me think of old ladies. No offence to old ladies who wear tweed, but it just does. So I thought let's put some kind of um gold pearly bits <laughs> on there this is from uh i think this was from a vetsy box this charm so i'm popping that on that's got a dangly pearl but i accidentally cured it in place so it doesn't dangle and then with these two we're going to add some pearls and caviar beads just on the curve and these pearls are just um from a wheel that I think I got from eBay years ago, just billions of little pearls, all the same size. And then some caviar beads. I've gone for the rose gold ones, just because it kind of goes with the brown and the pink. And we're going to do a little triangle of three, so two and then one next to it on each end. And then on the other one, I'll do it a little bit differently just to mix things up and then cure them in place. Do you know what I mean by, I just think pearls and tweed, like I feel like I should have put some kind of brooch of like a bird of some sort on this set, a gold frilly brooch. So this one we're going to do the caviar beads in a little line and then we'll cure them in place. And then I'm going to shiny top the um, non-tweed, the antique rose part, and then matte top all the tweed areas just had a thought in my head then is it tweed yes it is called tweed isn't it um i don't own anything tweed i should have looked at pictures of tweed things before doing this set shouldn't i i just googleized tweed nails and saw 
that they were all just kind of like scratchy looking designs just lots of messy dashes so that's why we've gone for quick easy do you like this this uh, trend the tweed i have cured the shiny top and now i'm velvet topping all the tweed areas just so it's i don't know looks like fabric maybe because it'll be matte um yeah let me know what you think of this whole tweed thing for nails um I can't imagine I would wear it. It kind of looks cool, does it? I don't know, I'm undecided. But luckily, if, if you're undecided too, it's super quick and super easy to do, so you won't spend too long trying it out. So I'm going to mat top this as well, make sure I get in all the nooks and crannies around that um, embellishment, which, as you can see, the pearl doesn't dangle because I've cured it in place. Never mind. <laughs> And that is our, our tweed. Um, I hope you like it. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget you can use code MISSSHOW30 for 30% off at Madame Glam. I'll be back soon. I've already halfway through filming the next video. When will it be? I don't know. Come back and check. Come and see me. I appreciate you all being here so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.